Before you spend the next two years grinding certifications and YouTube tutorials, ask yourself, what if you're betting your entire future on the wrong thing? Because that's exactly what you're doing when you choose to learn cloud. If you pick wrong, you don't just waste a weekend, you can waste years. But that doesn't mean you should abandon a cloud career. I didn't. I'm Anna, a self-taught cloud DevOps engineer, now working for a top AI company, and I have had all the same doubts you probably have right now. So in this video, I will show you whether cloud is still worth learning in 2025 and beyond, how to stand out as an applicant, even with zero experience, and how AI changes the game for cloud engineers, and how to avoid being replaced. But first, to really understand what's happening with cloud right now, we need to go back in time. Forget tech for a second. Picture the California gold rush. Mid 1800s, someone discovers gold. Hundreds of thousands of people drop everything, run to California and start digging, all dreaming about getting rich overnight. What happened to the majority of them? They dug for months, sometimes years, most found nothing, and they went home broke. But there was another group, a quieter group that always made money. They weren't digging for gold, they were building the railways, the shops, the towns. They built the infrastructure that the gold rush depended on. Now fast forward to today, what are our modern gold rushes? AI, machine learning, big data, every hyped VC-funded startup you see on social media. Everyone's striking to strike gold with the next AI app or data product. But what do all of them need just to exist? Infrastructure, cloud, the massive compute power behind AI models, Cloud. The ability for Netflix to stream to millions of people at once? Cloud. Your favorite apps staying up when they suddenly go viral? Cloud. That's why I believe cloud careers aren't going anywhere. Because long-lasting careers are rarely built by chasing trends. They are built by mastering the systems that trends depend on. But isn't the market saturated? The hard part isn't the budget. The hard part is finding people with the right skills. And for those who do have in-demand cloud skills, salaries reflect that. Even entry-level cloud engineers can earn serious money because they are solving expensive problems for businesses. So if cloud is in demand, you might be thinking, if it's so good, isn't it already too crowded? Am I too late? And here's the uncomfortable truth. Yes, the market is crowded, but no, it's not crowded with talent. The overall IT job market is noisy, but when you zoom into cloud, the data still shows it's less saturated than areas like generic web development or software engineer roles. So the opportunity is real, but the barrier to entry is way higher than a few years ago. There was a time some years ago when you could grab a couple of AWS certifications, memorize some theory, throw it on your CV, and that alone could get you interviews. But that era is over. Now the market is flooded with people who have credentials, but not the one thing hiring managers obsess over. Real world, hands-on experience. That's the new filter. It's why you see three plus years of experience on job descriptions for junior roles. I'm not saying this to scare you. I just want you to see the field clearly but it's absolutely not impossible. You just need a different strategy. Certifications now are the starting line, not the finish line. What gets you noticed is your projects, your problem solving, and how well you can showcase that to employers. As long as AI and big trends continue to depend on cloud, there will be demand for good engineers. But that leads to a bigger question. Won't AI just replace cloud engineers? If AI is fueling demand for cloud, couldn't it also replace cloud engineers? Before I answer that, quick note, I'm building a mini course to take you from zero to having an interview ready portfolio of real AWS projects. If you want early access and a launch discount, join the free waitlist at the link below. All right, back to AI. The biggest mistake people make is thinking AI is a full replacement for a human brain. Think about a modern plane. It has autopilot. Autopilot is incredible at flying straight, holding altitude, adjusting for wind. It's brilliant at the boring, predictable parts of the flight. But who handles the high stakes moments? Take off, landing, sudden storms, emergencies, the pilot. Autopilot manages the cruise. The pilot makes the critical decisions and takes responsibility. In cloud, AI tools are the autopilot. They can analyze logs, suggest IM policies, flag expensive resources, generate boilerplate infrastructure code, 
They are amazing at repetitive, well-defined tasks. The cloud engineer is the pilot. It designs the architecture for a brand new system, plans and executes a migration for a critical database, owns the response when production goes down at 3 a.m., balances security, compliance, cost, and performance for real businesses. AI is already changing what cloud engineers do, but it's not erasing the role. In fact, it's spinning up new ones. As more companies rush into AI, new problems appear. Security risks, compliance and regulation, data governance, ethical and legal questions. A lot of future cloud roles will look more like auditors or overseers, making sure platforms are safe, compliant and well architected. The people who get behind, the ones who only know how to do their routine tasks that AI can easily automate. The ones who win, those who use AI as a force multiplier, not a crutch. Focus on solving real business problems. Understand both the tech and the context it lives in. Which leads us to the most important part. How to become the kind of engineer companies fight over. So here's what to do next. Commit to cloud as your infrastructure bet, not just another trend. Build your T-shape one solid certification plus one high value specialization. Learn fundamentals through projects, not before them. And use AI as your co-pilot, not your replacement. And if you want help with step two and three, I'm building a course that takes you from zero experience to an interview ready portfolio of serious AWS projects. The kind that actually prove you can do the job. If that's something you want, join the free wait list at the link in the description and you will get early access and a special discount when it launches. And if you also want to learn DevOps and one of the most in-demand skills, Kubernetes, watch this video next.